So you're looking for how to transfer music files to your Samsung smartwatch. You've come to the right place. If you do a web search, there are going to be so many hits and links referring to a whole bunch of complex things of installing an FTP server app on the watch then using some kind of app on your computer or your phone you don't need to do any of that nonsense this is something directly built into every Samsung watch um, so all you have to do is go to your apps so you're gonna press this bottom button here to go into your apps and I'm just gonna scroll through I just finished doing this but I'm gonna scroll through to the uh, music app as I said this is built into the watch this this music app is the app that came with the watch made by Samsung so you don't need to install anything special you don't need to do anything crazy you're gonna open the music app it'll show the last song that you played you're gonna scroll up you see where this little arrow is you're gonna scroll up on that arrow and you're going to scroll down inside of the app you're going to go to music manager and then it says connect your watch and computer to the same wi-fi network to transfer music so that is something that you have to do you have to make sure that the computer that you're using i'm using a windows machine um that the computer that you're using and the watch that you are transferring the files to they have to be on the same Wi-Fi network and what that means is connected to the same wireless network like you can't have the watch connected to one network and your computer connected to another it won't work all right it's going to give you the IP address of the watch and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that IP address, you're gonna type, well, you're gonna type exactly what it says there. So in this case, it'll be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.22 colon 3. Thousand. You have to enter exactly as so. If you leave a digit out, if you don't enter that 3000 at the end, it won't work. Uh, when I checked the IP address for the watch, it was just 192.168.1.22. So that 3000 must be part of the protocol to let you get into the watch. So here we are on my machine. I'm going to type in exactly that. So we have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two two colon to fix that I messed up there I have to make sure that's a colon 3000 so it's going to show you this screen on your computer but the watch is going to ask you for permission if you do not grant it permission it will not allow you to connect so you do have to allow you know you do have to indicate on the watch that you want the computer to be able to connect so we're gonna hit yes and now you're gonna see basically like a uh, Samsung made music manager app program I, I don't know I'm, I'm at a loss of words but basically it'll show you the music that you already have on your watch and then here we have the add new tracks option 
and you also have the delete tracks option. One thing to keep in mind is depending on how much you've already stored on the watch, meaning apps or photos or even I'm not sure if the watch can play videos, but if you've managed to get an app that you actually can, there's an app that lets you play videos. You have to be cognizant. There's very little space. So as you can see, I only have 0.6 gigabytes available um, for space. So in this case, I'm going to click add new tracks. That's going to send me to my desktop. But you can obviously, I don't want to show you too much over here because I might have sensitive data. But you can browse to any directory that you want to. In this case, on my desktop, I already created a folder with the files. And I'm going to select it. I just did Control A to select all. I'm going to click on Open. And there you go that simple you don't have to do anything crazy you don't have to do anything special I made this video because I just spent an hour trying to remember how in the heck I did this the first time and the way that I found out how to do this is the way that I find out how to do 90% of the things I find I learned how to do in my life I I learned it on my own I was playing around with the watch and when I went into the music app, you know, I, I must have spent probably a week going through every menu and sub menu on the watch. And that's how I found that music manager option. And that's how I was able to uh, do it the first time. Uh, as you can see, the the process has stopped and I think that's I don't know what happened there but there's some kind of error this is the first time I've gotten the error but it did work the first time that I did it the first time I bought the watch I'm gonna go ahead and redo this so one of the things I do like to capture in my videos are not only the successes but also the failures because they make the video more real and more applicable to real world situations not entirely sure what the heck happened just now why the connection somehow was severed and it stopped transferring i know that this did not happen the first time that i did this this is a new experience just keep in mind that uh, in this case i already apparently have two files but i'm pretty certain that the, so here you see this is a, these are bachata songs so that first song Nuestros Lazos I did see that song go through but the other song I'm not that sure about um, but it's claiming that those two files are already on the watch so it won't be able to send those two files uh, but it will send the other files which is okay I'm gonna go ahead though and that other track that it's it claims to have already sent i'm almost certain that's corrupt because i know that the process stopped so i'm gonna hit okay there um and that process will once again start anew uh, but as i said nothing special that simple what i just showed you in the video um and unfortunately there isn't any way to do a hierarchy on the storage of the watch and what I mean by that is you know like if you're an audio file and you like to organize all your music and have everything in the correct folders and all that kind of stuff and this is by the way what it looks like when the files are being sent to the watch it's possible that I maybe tap the watch that is possible because I was so focused on the video Maybe I tap the watch, or maybe I even hit cancel over here. I'm not sure, um, but the the router I have is pretty is is a pretty good router, so there shouldn't be any um, connectivity issues. Uh, so what I wanted to mention lastly, which is I just interrupted myself, is that there's no way to organize the music, so that kind of blows.
um, as you see here, it's just all the tracks that I've ever transferred to the watch. They're all just in a list. What you can do, which is what I'll show you um, once this process is over, the only organization that's available is on the app on the watch where you can play albums. So meaning to say like, you know how you have all these tracks here loosely, like not affiliated and it's a mess. On the watch, when you use the music app, it does let you play your music according, like as per the album it's in. So I'll show you that in a second. So I got the successful prompt that everything was sent successfully. You can go ahead now and disconnect the watch. And so as I said, and I'll just start anew, and shout out to the mad genius who created this watch face. This is a Super Mario World themed watch face. Um, I did not design this. Whoever did that, God bless him. Awesome, amazing work. So you're going to click this button again. I'm going to scroll down to your music app. And so when you're in the music app, you're going to scroll up just how I did there on the little arrow. And as I said, it'll categorize it by albums. So those songs that I transferred, they all are in the album Bachatazo Vol Volume 2, Volume 2, however you want to. I'm trying to get this to focus. Whoops. <laughs> that was the watch. I thought it was my computer. Um, all right. I hope that doesn't get flagged for copyright now. All right. Uh, so it wasn't focusing. So basically, whenever you are in the music app, Scroll up and it actually will organize it um, two ways by artist or by album but that's it I, I I just explored the playlist option a little bit ago and that's useless like it isn't like you can make a playlist on the watch it's just like playlists that the app makes itself like favorites I guess you could add that yourself most played recently played or recently added which I honestly I think is useless um, but you do have that option to see or play your songs according to the album they're in or the artist who sings them so in this case my desire is to have some music for cycling I have these uh Bluetooth, wireless, JBL earphones that I purchased recently. And I don't like taking a phone with me when I cycle. So this is a really great option to be able to play music from the watch to the wireless earphones. So that's what this is all about. And so there, I'll be able to, those songs, those 11 songs that I transferred, their tracks, they're all here categorized by album. So that's it. I hope this video has helped you. If it's helped you, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and take care.